Welcome back to our channel guys. If you're new here, we're Richie, Laura, Frankie and Freddie and you join us on our round the world tour in Camper Van Kev. We've got to be quiet because we're currently on a bear hunt in Romania. But first of all, we're going to show you our last stop in Turkey, Lake Sauda. We hope you enjoy, enjoy it. it. We made it to Solda Lake yesterday and this is where we parked up. It's a really nice little campsite on the side of Solda Lake and it's one of the main uh, campsites that you're allowed to park at and swim in the, in the lake so this is going to be fun. Today we are at Solda Lake and it is magnificent. The water is crystal clear and they call it the Maldives of Turkey. It's one of the cleanest and deepest lakes in Turkey. It's got a real nice look to it. It's like white sand all round the outside and like Laura just said, the water is crystal clear. Some parts go down to 180 metres deep and the surface area is 44 square kilometres, so a pretty big lake as well. So this area of the lake is the only part of the lake that you're actually allowed to swim in. I think round the other side is, there's sand, but it's like sinking sand, so they don't allow people to swim in it. Um, but this end has got a big campsite that we've stayed in over the last couple of nights, which is 100 lira, I think, for one night. Very basic, showers, toilets, um, and a little restaurant, but it does and it's just so pretty down here not many people down here either not it's not as touristy as i imagined it to be it feels so funny on your feet as well it feels like clay but it's like you're walking on clouds And this here is where you park. Kev's behind me, as you can see. And I'd say it's probably about 100 metres down to the lake. You can't park right down there, but I think that's because it's quite soft. But yeah, it's a nice little spot. It's been quite quiet here as well, which is nice. So we have just left um, the campsite. It was 100 lira, so that wasn't too bad, really. Um, and now we are headed to our next destination um, which we will leave as a bit of a surprise but first things first we've got to find a carrefour because you can get a lot more selection um, from a carrefour in Turkey the supermarkets like Migros and BIM um, they're good enough for sort of just your everyday stuff but the meat selection and just general stuff that they do in there isn't uh, a bigger range so I'm looking forward to going to a carrefour and get they have a back lava section there so we can stock up on Richie's supplies. <laughs> Morning guys! Morning! Now this may come as a bit of a shock to a lot of you, but we are no longer in Turkey. After Cappadocia, that was like our ultimate destination that we've been looking forward to. And since then we've just felt a little bit lost, not knowing where to go or what to do. So our plans have since changed. We were supposed to be getting the ferry from Italy over to Tunisia um, and then making our way over through Algeria into Morocco. However, the visa situation for Algeria is only allowed to be made in the UK. So our plans were scrapped. So what we're going to do now 
is, believe it or not, we're going to start heading north towards home. It's going to be a slow journey and our journey hasn't stopped yet either. Uh, we plan to tour the UK for a while. One of our goals is to find a piece of land um, in England or Scotland maybe. So I think we're going to head home, um, travel the UK throughout winter. So if a bit of land pops up then we'll buy it but if we can't handle the cold we'll, be, we'll end up coming back out. <laughs> and at the minute it is freezing. We've all got our coats back on. It's unbelievable going from heat to the freezing. So that leaves us to where we are now, Romania. <laughs> right by Transylvania. I think it's the Transfagasan Pass or something like that. I'll, it's quite hard to pronounce that one, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, yeah, so today we are on a bear hunt. <laughs> The Transfagasan Highway is a paved mountain road crossing the southern section of the Carpathian Mountains of Romania. The road is 90 kilometres long and is the second highest paved road in the country, with the highest point reaching 2,042 metres. The highway is only open from July until November, and according to Top Gear it is one of the greatest driving roads in the world. We spent a lot of our time around the central lake, one side of the lake is a paved road and slightly busier, whereas the other side is more like a forest track that is a lot quieter and gets very muddy. There are many reasons why you should drive the Transfagasum Highway if you were in Romania, but the main reason for us is because it is a hot spot to see wild bears. Join us as we drive this incredible road while searching for the elusive wild bears. So we've just pulled out of our park up that we slept at last night, which was really nice and quiet. We're around the forest side of the Transylvania Pass um, and it's a bit more bear-like. We feel like we could possibly see one today, hopefully. It's very, very quiet around this side. We haven't seen any cars. We slept there for a couple of nights. We haven't seen any bears either yet, though. But we've got to try and get out of here. We've had a couple of days of rain and it, the floor is soaked and it's thick mud. So I'm praying we can get out of this forest track. <laughs> we didn't really think about it. And a lot of the park for night um, comments say don't attempt the road when it's been raining. So not a good idea. But the plan is any likely looking bear spots, we're going on a bear hunt. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. <laughs> So I thought I'd just stop here and show you that there's a lot of places around this lake to park for van lifers. Um, no one gets moved on and it seems quite remote places that you can park at and are allowed to park at. So it's really nice little area to come and have a look at. Another cool thing we just had to stop to show you is these tunnels. We've never seen such cool tunnels. It's like they're not lined inside and they've literally just gone straight through the side of the mountain. They look really cool. Well, I'm not sure what's going on at the moment, but we haven't found any bears. <laughs> or anywhere likely that looks like there is any bears. The, lot, the trees are all quite open around this side of the lake, so you're getting to see quite a vast area, and there's not one sign of any. So we're gonna carry on the journey, see if we can spot one. No bears yet. I just had to pull over and show you this landslide behind us. You would not want to be parked under that. Look at this. So we're back onto the main road that goes around the lake now. We didn't have no joy on the woodland side where it's just nobody around and there's not many cars. 
So we've decided we've just pulled over onto like a little hiking trail going down into the forest and hopefully we might be able to spot one this side. Romania has really surprised us so far. It is absolutely full of nature. We didn't really know what to expect, but it's been a, it's been really, really nice. Yeah, and this is a place that's out of the Schengen, um, so you're not using any of your time up. You can spend 90 days in this country, um, so it's nice to know that it's somewhere that you can get out of the Schengen and do the Schengen shuffle. <laughs> and it's really quiet as well. I don't know if it's where we're out of season or what, but it's been a lot quieter than what we expected. So yeah, thumbs up for Romania so far. Yeah, I can imagine this place is quite nice um, in the summer to come and have a little swim in the lake and experience the nature. It would be quite nice to come back in the summer one day, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it'd be really nice. All the people are very friendly as well. We've got a couple of pears given to us a few days ago, so thumbs up. <laughs> now, we just need to try and find these bears, though. They've been quite elusive, and considering the amount in the country, we thought we'd see them all the time, and we've heard a lot of stories of you see them on the roads, but... So far, no luck, although we are feeling confident. We're going on a bear hunt. We got a couple of these from Harvey State. Well, we've been walking through here for about 20 minutes now and still no sign. <laughs> we can't really believe it, but the places that we're at is quite open, so you can kind of see quite far in the distance and there's just no sign of them. I've seen a few bear poos, but apart from that, it Those looks very bear-like as well. You'd think this would be prime for seeing a few, but <laughs> nothing. So we're going to take a slow walk back to Kev, and I think we may try and find something to eat. Still looking on the way, though. Yeah, I think in the summer, um, that's when they're most active, but then in autumn, you, they're also quite active because they're uh, getting ready to hibernate, so collecting all their food ready for hibernation. So we'd have thought by now we would have seen one. Don't know what's going on. <laughs> just found this sticker board with everyone's stickers on it so only right we put one of Kev's on there. So we drove past this restaurant um, along this road a couple of days ago and it looks really nice. It's like a tree house, quite quirky. So let's go and take a look. So this is a really cool restaurant. It's in the tree, like tree houses suspended above the ground. There's quite a few little tree houses in the woodland that I reckon you can rent out maybe. Um, but they've said that they've got this lemonade here that is specifically made for them, which looks really tasty. I'm looking forward to uh, trying a bit of that. So we've got some good food here. We've got some pork ribs, pulled pork, Angus ribs, beef brixit, and chicken. Looks good. And then we've got on the side, this is all on a bed of um, potatoes with um, like sam toasted sandwiches with mozzarella in them. They look really tasty. And some pickles. Now that was lovely. Best meal that we've had for ages, that was really good. Worked out about 55 pound for that big sharing platter and four drinks as well. So well worth it. It'd be double that in England. We haven't seen no bears yet, but we have found these donkeys. <laughs> well, we weren't expecting this on the side of the road. We've seen lots of cows, horses, sheep on our travels, but not a donkey. 
So I don't know what's happened today. I don't know whether it's because of the weather or not, but we haven't seen any bears. We're still gonna keep looking. Um, the scenery is just out of this world here. Uh, it's just amazing. Um, but the weather is really drizzly and we've got our coats on, which we haven't had on for like, oh, I don't really know when we last put our coats on. So it seems a bit strange and we're really feeling the cold at the minute. I think all this bear hunting has tired someone out. Well, we was just driving along the road and we've come across like this old abandoned building type thing. It looked like a possibility that there could have been a bear in here at some point, so we thought we'd check it out. This is the last resort, to be honest, because we've been everywhere around this lake and we're starting to lose the will to live. I'm starting to think people are lying and there's no bears in Romania. <laughs> so what a place this would have been if it was actually built. It's huge, but it seems like quite a lot of places like this, across all the countries we've visited, they seem to build it, obviously run out of money or can't get planning permission for it, and then work just stops. But this is incredible. So I thought I'd tell you a couple of facts about bears while we're trying to go on the hunt for them. So one thing is that they cover 150 kilometers per day, which is incredible to think how big this place actually is. No wonder we haven't seen them yet, because every time we're probably passing them, they're up the other end. Um, and the second fact is that bears actually give birth while they're actually asleep. So that's another interesting fact for you. Now this is why Top Gear says that this road is one of the greatest driving roads in the world. Check this out, I'd love to send the drone up but it's so windy, I'm hoping the audio is going to be okay. So along the whole of the Transylvania Pass that we've been to so far has all been really woodland, forest trees. Um, at, yeah, I mean, there's just loads of trees around. Whereas this part that we're just going through now is very open. Um, they're some of the windiest roads that we've actually been on throughout the whole of our trip. Um, but we're now coming towards some more woodland parts. So we're hoping that this could be our last chance to see a bear. I don't know for definite, but I think we might have just seen one. Where? Just, Where? just got reversed back. <laughs> I can't believe we just seen oh one. Oh god. Well I don't know. Oh hopefully. Now can you believe this? Literally, just on the side of the road we spotted our first bear. Incredible.
I honestly cannot believe that. What are the chances of seeing that on the side of the road like that? It was ridiculous. To be honest, I thought our time had gone and I didn't think we were actually going to see one. And we've really been looking forward to seeing one here as well. It's like one of our bucket list things. Um, it's unbelievable. And we've yeah. got all this time scouting out like in on that for me, like random road of like only four by fours really can get down it and we see it in the middle of the road like that literally like. <laughs> on a busy part of the road as well but only one other car stopped um to see it so it's not like there was crowds of people around it or nothing but it seems so tame and it looks so soft and gentle i think it was a baby one yeah we didn't see the mummy no i didn't see God. the mum but yeah at least we can now say we've seen a bear in romania another huge tick off the bucket list <laughs> but what's even better as well we've still got quite a few miles to go on this road so you never know we might see another one i don't know because they're, they're, they've been quite hard, hard to, to find, find. <laughs> it was literally it was right down in the bushes and our eyes are hurting so much where yeah, we've been looking. constantly looking for them um and yeah I didn't know if it was a dog or a bear, but it was a bear, a little but, baby And luckily, one. I think this place, I'm not sure if it's like this in the summer or not, but it's not touristy at all, is it? It's a Saturday today, so it's a little bit more busier than what it was in the week, but it's nothing like what we'd expect, is it really? No. In the slightest, so no, it, no, it's a nice place to come, definitely recommend it. We thought it'd be a lot busier, but really good. And just can't believe we just took that off. The boys are well happy. Well, we didn't find any more bears, and that wraps up our short time in Romania. Join us next week as we head back into the UK. Drop in the comments where you think we should go, and if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe.